Welcome back to chapter 12. In this lesson, we're going to talk about noise. So just go ahead and select this histogram with blue overcast or color cast, and then choose. We're going to open up in the editor, and you can see here that number four says reduce noise. Uh, we would want to reduce noise in Camera Raw because if we're not happy with it, we can always change back, which is a nice thing in Camera Raw. Nothing's ever really permanent in Camera Raw. But unfortunately, if you do have to open it up in the Photoshop Elements because the noise reduction in Camera Raw was not good enough, then I want you to be aware of something. When you open it in Photoshop Elements, and remember, I want you to keep it in 16-bit for as long as possible. When you keep it in 16-bit, you can't make a duplicate. So any noise reduction that you do in this photo is permanent. So that's why I ask you here to name it as working. Okay, so at least you can go back if you want. Okay. When working with the noise, well, let, let, let's first talk about what is noise. Well, noise is commonly used to describe visual distortion. It looks something like grain found in film photographs, but it can look like splotches of discolorization when it's really bad, and it can ruin a photograph. It does tend to get worse when you're shooting in low light. When viewing digital noise, always look at your image at 100%. Okay, you can see the noise here. Okay. You can do it in 16-bit or 18-bit, but at least in 18-bit you can duplicate the layer and see a before and after. But we're going to do it in 16-bit. So you go filter, noise, reduce noise. Makes sense, right? It's a pretty straightforward um, dialog box here. Um, see, 100%. I usually move my sliders to the left. I make sure my preview button is selected because that's that's I've forgotten that sometimes. It's kind of funny. And then you start increasing the strength. So uh, just to show you, if you increase the strength all the way, look what happens. If you see my little hand in the middle, click it or press, and you'll see the before, after, before, after. And what have you noticed? Noise is an interesting thing. It's a trade-off between detail and noise reduction. If you want more noise reduced, you're going to have less detail in the photo, as you can tell here. So it's always a trade-off. Just remember that. So I'll tailor back my strength to maybe about four. Okay, and I'll look at the before, after, before, after. Okay, so I would just tailor back to, let's say, about four. Look at a before and after and see the difference. This picture you can't really save a lot, but eh, just to give you an example. Then you can tailor in the preserved details if you want. And something else you got to be careful of, which I, I kind of found interesting. You see the lights? Be careful when you say reduce color noise because you can wipe out the color of those lights if you wanted to keep them. I know this is not the most greatest photo to show you, but just to show you how when you reduce color noise, be careful. And if it was a JPEG, you can reduce, uh, remove JPEG artifacts, but this was saved in um, PSD or TIFF, so it doesn't matter. Um, also, when you're working in the noise dialog box, give it some time to work. It's a little process intensive and sometimes it may not be immediate, so b bear with it. If you want to move around within the photo quickly, so you can always go outside of the dialog box and click here, and it will bring you right to that spot, just so you know. Okay, so I see it before, after. Okay, then you click OK. And this usually takes some time, so beware. And then once you're done, as I say here, save it as working PSD, and then you're going to reopen it in the camera raw. And the next lesson, I'm going to talk about chromatic aberration.